All right, good morning. Welcome, everybody, on this lovely Wednesday. And before I get started, let's just start off and give a big round of applause to all our veterans. Uh, it is Veterans Day. I'd like to thank you for your service. I know we have a lot of veterans here that are students here uh, of ours here at Cybertrain University. And I know we listenings around the world. So thank you for your service. We always, always appreciate it. Thank you very much. So uh, regarding about what's happening over the course of the day, we got a lot of nice little stocks on moving this morning. Uh, I know some of you saw this FPRX right now taking a little bit of a hit. It's up about 285%, obviously being a pharmaceutical stock. You can always tell by the name. But overall, there's a couple of stocks out here. Honestly, I was really not that impressed in pre-market so far. Listen, we had this really big rally on Monday. Yesterday, I was flat. You know, today, as of right now, there's not really that much going on. And and that, you know what? That's okay. Because you have to know when to trade, when not to trade. Sometimes it's better not to trade than to trade. But we're going to check out some of the stuff and see what's going on. And uh, But before we do that, let's just go turn over and see what happened yesterday. There were a couple of good stocks that did make a couple of decent moves. I want to bring them up really quick before we do. I want to start off with the GTEC. So that stock right there, actually, I go a little further. So that was more of a pump and dump type of stock. You can see a stock went from three to 10 and then right around 11 o'clock, it just came right back down. I think we all did pretty well and made money on it. Kind of played a little game with us in the middle of the day because I thought it was kind of done. <laughs> and then all of a sudden out of nowhere, thing just kind of more or less took off. You know, we're done here around 1030. So with that, I mean, just out of nowhere, thing took off, but it was another typical tump, uh, pump and dump. A uh, nice little algorithm, short squeeze, what we call, that did well. I know something did well, so you guys give yourself a, a nice little round of applause on that one. Another stock that was tr crazy was this JMIA. Another stock went from 12 to 14, right back down to 12. The stock got, took a big hit. You could see a gap down from 17 down to 12. Try to make a little bit of a comeback. Uh, it was, uh, it, it, you know, basically it was a great short. I mean, everybody who shorted did really well right the open and then obviously had a retrace and came right back down. That one was pretty good. In the afternoon, a lot of the airlines, American Airlines, all of them, they all took big hits. They started coming back down to kind of some, some type of reality. Uh, I thought they were going to do pretty good on, 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 uh, on Monday with the news with the vaccine coming out. But um, listen, buy on buy on rumors, sell on news. So we can see what happened. American Airlines kind of didn't work out too well. Wistia was another one. We're going to keep an eye too. That one had a nice little move yesterday. And the VC. And X. That thing just had a right afternoon rally. You could see that stock just really just took off from a buck 80 to 230. All right. So anyway. That's that's yesterday. It's over. Forget about it. If you made money, you lost money, you broke even. Today's a brand new day. That's what I like about day trading. You come to work and you know what? You can come with a clear head. The whole thing is try not to bring the negativity and the positive what happened yesterday. It's a new day. Start fresh. OK, so what's moving this morning? There are a couple of stocks on the watch list. Now, I was a fan of this stock, Mayo, M-Y-O. This stock went from 10 to 40. You could see it's been kind of been dwindling up little by little. I actually did a little bit of a swing trade on this stock, but I mean, I didn't buy a lot of it. I just, I, I've had it for about, ever since it started trending up the last five, six days. And then sure enough, being in the right place at the right time, it started going up now. So I want you guys to keep an eye on it. It's, you know, trading a pretty decent amount of shares in pre-market, 87,000. Market's not even open. That one's not bad. We'll keep an eye on that one. FPRX is another one that came up on the radar. You're all very familiar with it. It's the biggest percentage gainer right now in the market, being at 290%. But the stock you could see in pre-market, it's starting to dwindle down. It's starting to trend down. So it's up a lot. Listen, you got to ask yourself a question. If you were up 300% this morning in a stock, what do you think it's going to do? Go to 30, go to 50? I mean, listen, you guys have been stuck here at $5 for almost a year. 
Now the thing is worth almost 20. You don't think people can take a profit? So that's something you gotta be very, very careful of when you see something like this. The PSHG. So this stock just started taking off immediately, but you gotta be careful of it. Look on the right-hand side. The stock literally has no orders out there on level three. <clears throat> the reason why that is, it's, it's a penny stock. So you got to be careful. Penny stocks don't mean to trade at the penny. Penny stocks can be $8 stocks too. But I'm actually shocked because I need work for, I have about seven stocks. This one is number five on my list. And sure enough, just at nine o'clock, the thing just popped from 550 all the way to 840. So the thing's really taking off. It literally, I'm just going to show you right here. It's on my list. Does everybody see that? I wrote it down and you can see it. I always make my list before we start. And sure enough, look at that thing just popped out of nowhere. So I guess I'm a little late to the game because I had to do this webinar, uh, do our, our morning meeting. But that's okay. There's always new ones. All right, so here's another one that's up about 45% FF Tech. Now this one, it's got a nice little spread, very tight. You could trade a lot of shares if you're, if you're an advanced trader. You could get out of five, 10,000 shares. You could see it there on the right-hand side. Um, but it's going to take a lot to move this stock, a lot to move it. So... But it is gapped up pretty nicely. IMRN. We all remember that one too very well. We traded this stock. You guys remember it from 5 to 30 in one day. And then it did it again back in the end of July. Went from like 10 to 20. She's up. Go to your journals. Check them out. See how you trade. See how things worked out. Some of you will probably remember it wasn't the easiest stock to trade. Had some big spreads, very small tier sizes from what my memory is uh, telling me. But I, I'm not too guaranteed. I got to go back to my journals and check. But this stock obviously just came out of nowhere. And here, here we are. Surf is also moving, but now she's starting to back off. I know some of you guys called this out. And now all of a sudden she's starting to back off. Maybe I want to put a pass on this one. F-U-B-O. It's another one that came up on my watch list. Up 23%, 300,000 shares. Pre-market looks ugly. It's not really going anywhere. So this I'm going to put on the B list. GNFT. We're going to keep an eye on this one. Up 28%. The stock got destroyed. You can see it from 22 all the way down to 8. Now it's down to 3. It's gapped up. Looks like it's going to be testing some resistance levels back in July and August which is pretty nice. You got some nice orders. I can see a 10,000 share buyer sitting out right there advertising at 505. That's pretty substantial. Uh, not really seeing any big iceberg orders on the offer. So listen, you could see that's why it's kind of holding here right around this $5 price range. Going to keep an eye on that one. And another one, you know, regarding about swing trading, you know, GE has been twindling up little by little. I don't know if you guys noticed this. It's not up a lot, but... There's a couple of stocks that really took major, major hits. You know, I would keep an eye on that one. NIO. That thing is starting to back off a little bit now. I mean, this thing has been on the rocket lately, but I would be careful of that support levels. Uh, I told you I sold my Pinterest. That thing started backing off pretty fast. Uh, really came down a lot, actually. Lyft and Uber had really, really nice rallies. So there's going to be a little profit taking. Remember, if you're a swing trader, one of the biggest things that we kind of educate you and train you here is that you don't want things going up too fast. Remember, I told you about Pinterest. I love Pinterest. We made a lot of money on Pinterest, but it just went up too damn fast. And the faster they go up, the faster they come down. You like something very slow and steady. So you can kind of like people build, build support and resistance levels on it build volume on certain price levels. And you know, that's that's some of the concerns that you have like with Lyft and Uber, they really, really had big runs. But other than that, guys, that pretty much does it. It's not a really sexy morning with some of these stocks. There's not a lot of attractive stocks out there that I thought that was like, bam. I mean, I didn't really say anything other than that being great. And it's, it's a Wednesday, but it is Veterans Day. It is Veterans Day. So, you know, who knows? But anyway, there's always new stocks that do come up. We will see what happens at 9.30. If there's anything moves, we'll go out there, we'll share it. 
If you're, unfortunately, if you're on YouTube and Facebook Live, if you want to join us and see what we're trading over the course of the day, just click on the bottom, like us, friend us, pay the $9, and you'll get into the trading room. And then uh, and if everybody else will broadcast our second one at 2.30 to trade the afternoon. Just always remember, cyber traders, you see something, you say something. Good luck, everyone, and be safe.